Hi all, welcome to another RP tutorial video. Today in this video, we are going to learn about SAP automation in A2019. So here I will teach you how we can work with SAP using A2019. So we will talk about what are the options available here in this version to work with. Alright, so now let me go to the automation anywhere con uh, control room. So I am here in A2019. So I am into the my bot page. So I have uh, given a name of a task called uh, SAP demo okay so now before starting this uh, uh, like you know the demo I mean what are the options available in A2019 to work with the SAP so you have to check something which is in SAP right so you have to check the SAP version which is installed in your system so if if the, the A2019 will support a version which is starting from 750 okay so currently i'm using a sap uh, 760 in case if you are using sap 750 then you have to check like whether your patch level is uh, 9 or not in case if it is less than 9 let's say 3 4 or some other patch level version then in that point of time your uh, a a 2019 automation anywhere will be not able to work with the sap so when you use uh, automation anywhere to work with the SAP with the 750 GUI version then you will get this type of error if your patch version is not 9 so it's better to use automation anywhere the version uh, 760 okay so here you can see this is the latest version which I am using here so this version is capable of working with the uh, A2019 all right so now let in A2019 we can automate SAP in several way so first way of working with SAP is a universal recorder we have other recorder called uh, AI sense recording okay so this AI sense recording will help full when you are working with a Citrix automation or a surface automations so this recorder you can use so in case if you if you are looking for uh, more information about the recorders I have last time I have created a video based on the A2019 recorder so you can refer to that video okay to get the more details okay so the recorder will work with the SAP and we have a separate command or action available for the SAP if you search with the SAP then you can see the option is available here so hope you remember in previous version of automation anywhere 11 there we had a concept of metabot however this A2019 does not have uh, any concept of metabot so in 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 8 a 11 so there we need to use a dll file to create a different logic to perform sap related activities like do up uh, left click right click set text get text however in this version this is already created so these things are predefined so you have to only use into your action so we will see in more details and we will uh, uh, show you how we can use this recorder as well as this SAP command and we have other options also available here if you go to the recorder and you can see the capture so this capture will also allow you to work with the SAP alright so now let me start working with the SAP so uh, what I am going to do here I am going to use a T code called FBZ1 so this is the T code which I am going to use so I will write down this my bot will click here okay so these things I will do using the recorder so let me go back I'm just pressing control N now I'm going to automation anywhere let me go to the list view and I'm clicking on the start recording so as soon as you click on the start recording it will ask you to select the window or the URL so I will go ahead and select the window name is SAP easy access and I will click on the start recording once you click on the start recording this option will be populated here now let's see wherever I am moving my mouse it is selecting the area so you can see here here so now in this box I have to write down the T code called FBZ1 and after that I will click here in the this box okay so now we are here now wherever I move my cursor you can see my bot is able to this recorder is able to select a particular area of the place right however in previous version of automation anywhere recorder and the other features like object cloning were not able to capture in most of the things from the SAP right so you can see here wherever I'm moving these things it is capturing all right so now I'm not going to write anything here so let me stop the recording 
So once you click on the stop recording, it will generate a code. So this is the code which generated by the recorder. So you can see the first line of code where what I have done, I have just written the uh, transaction code in the box. So you can see the property is already selected and the accent type has been selected as set text and the information which I have given here is already available here. So in case if you want to pass any information here using the variable so we have the options available or if you have something let's say you are passing a password or some other stuff so there you can also select with the the option available for the select credentials okay so we have uh, options to put delay here directly okay so i'm not going to put any delay now let's see so here in the second you can see second page or the second line of code i have just click here in this box okay so now let me quickly run this command before that let me go back so i'm here now i'm going to automation anywhere i have to click on the save let me run this so let, let me maximize the SAP so we can see how it is working. So initially it will take some time because it is downloading the dependencies. okay so you can see here the bot has written the transaction code and it clicked on the enter button right so so the recorder is very nice and it's very strong actually so it can like you know help you on uh, automating your sap task very quickly so in case if you have a requirement there you need to fill some information in a sap page so it, it is recommended to use this recorder it will save your huge time you can record in one go and you can pass the value using the variables then you can perform other uh, action all right so we have seen the recorder how it works now let me go to the capture which i was talking so i am clicking here in the capture and i will show you how we can use this also so i am just going here so i am in a sap easy access so i will select a window and from there i will select the window name okay now you can see the by default the path for the application has been selected so this is basically it's like a like you know we have used object cloning in 11 version right so it's similar to that only i have to click here in the capture so now you can see here uh, wherever i'm moving my mouse it is selecting so now you can see once i click here it will generate a code so the code has been generated and here you can see we need to fill the information so it basically captured the property of a particular place where i have used this command and you can see so here the accent type you have to select like based on your requirement if you want to write set text get text whatever you want to do that can be done from here okay so now let me uh, delete this i just show you if you have some requirement where you want to use this capture options so that can be also done now let's come to the sap part so this is the sap action which is available here so to use this make sure your recording feature uh, this recording sap gui recording is enabled in your sap because this command will work based using the sap recording okay from where we have to take the uh, script id so that is basically a object id for a sap right however the recorder which currently we are using in case if your uh, sap gui recording feature is not enabled in that scenario also your recorder will be able to work okay so the good thing about it is like in case if you do, do not have access to this sap uh, script recording option then you can definitely use the recorder and you can perform your required action okay all right so now i am going to use a recorder okay and i am going to perform some action so let's see how can it be done okay so i am going to start recording to get the object id let me click here so my recorder is on i'm typing a t code called ac16 then i'm pressing enter and here i'm typing a t code table name t001 then i'm pressing the enter 
okay so it generated some uh, object id so let me click here to stop the recording to get the object id so let me stop it now i am going here so this is the script which i have just now generated okay so you can see here this is the object id for a transaction code ac16 then i have written the table name called t001 now we will see how we can use this to perform the same action using automation anywhere so i am going to here first to use this command make sure you are using first as a connect option okay then so your your code will start from the connect okay at the end you have to disconnect also so let me put the connect and disconnect in between that we will put the other information okay so you can see here inside my right hand side the property for the particular command is here so the session name is showing as a default and the connection type is showing as a automatically so this ACP command is automatically taking the session name okay and it will create a connection with the SAP and the automation anywhere in case if you have a requirement to fulfill the details like I mean manually in case if you want to pass the information then you have to fill the details like client name user ID password and the language okay so that can be also done but we'll go with the automatic option so now same thing is available here in the uh, disconnect also so this sap will work with the session so the default is a session name so we'll leave it as it is now let me go to the uh, the other uh, action which is set text i want to write something there in the sap so i will click on the set text and i will put here so inside the set text you can see it is asking you to field path so field path is uh, all about you are giving the object ID which we have got using the SAP script recorder right so now the value I have to put is AC 16 so this is the T code which I want to write so I have written here so now we are done with this the next is after writing the T code I want to press the enter to press the enter so we have an option called uh, send virtual key if you select this I will keep here the this send virtual key is uh, help you or allow you to select an option like a enter or any other shortcut key which SAP allow you to do so you can see like F1 F2 shift way F2 so, so many options are available here so you can explore it so my requirement is I have to write down the SAP T code AC 16 then I have to press the enter all right so in between that I want to put some delay so like uh, my bot will run successfully so I will put a delay here so let's say I'm putting a 500 milliseconds of delay let me click on the save okay so till here this is done let me copy this delay here and the next is I have to write down uh, the next uh, action is the table name so I will copy this again I will go to the SAP set text and here I will put the same information which I have copied and this is the T001 all right so this is done the next is again I have to put a enter so I will just copy from here and I will paste here okay so my code is starting from connect then I'm writing AC 16 then I'm pressing the enter then I'm giving some delay then I'm writing the T001 table name then again delay then I'm putting the enter right so so let's see I'm just saving the code and I'm going to run it from here so before that let me see whether my SAP is in the initial page or not so let me take my SAP in the initial page let me close this So now I'm here. I'm I'm going to run the board from here. So if you click here, then you can see the option is run from here. So let me click.
okay so it started so let me maximize so we can see so you can see here t001 uh, table name has been written and the bot runs successfully okay so so basically this video i have just created to like you know make you understand what are the options available in a 2019 to work with the sap but like soon i will upload some more video there i will explain you how we can perform more and more actions so this is just i have explained you about the very basic